So I'm going to call the input function because the program over here said, write a program that reads a string from the user containing a date in this form. So we need to ask the user to type in that date in this form. I'm going to use the input function for that. Now the input function takes in a couple of arguments. It takes in what you want to display as a prompt to the user. It's going to be a string. So I'm going to display this message to the user to say and say, please enter a date in the form mmddyyyy. Okay, so the user is going to see this message. This input function is going to pop up some kind of text box with this prompt displaying it to the user saying, please enter a date in the form month, day, year. The user is going to type in that date in this form and the input function is going to return that value back to us as a string. Now when it's returning that value back to us, we need a place to store it. I'm going to store that value in a variable. I'm going to call it user date. Okay, doesn't matter that this name is the same as this name. The scope of this variable is within the change data format, sorry, change date format function, and the scope of this user date variable is within the main function. They are considered two different variables because they are in two different functions. They don't see each other at all. They're like twins. You know, they're not the same. They're not the same. So you can use them here because this only is visible in the main function. This is only visible in the change date format function. Okay, so now we have the user date. So now we can call our change date format function, which takes our user date. It takes a bit. It takes a user date in this original raw format. And we know that it will return three values: the date from this format, the the sorry, the month from this format, the day from this format, and then the year from this format. This function is returning three values, so we need three variables to receive these values respectively. So the first variable that's coming is the user date month value. I'm going to create another a variable called user date month value to receive that value, that first value. The second value that's coming is the user date day value. I'm going to also separate these variables with commas. And then the third v v value that's coming is the user date year value. All right, so these three var variables, I'm going to separate them with commas, are going to receive the three values that are coming from this change date format function. All right, the first value here, user date month, is going to be stored in the fir first variable. You have to receive these values. The second value that's being returned is going to be stored in the second var variable you have out here that's, being rece that's receiving these values. Okay, so when we call this function, it's going to return these individual pieces to us um, here. So the next thing is, I don't want you. Um, I, sorry, I don't. No, I don't want you. I um, I don't know if you see this line over here. This is a gray line that is indicates a guideline for me to um, help me or to prompt me to type uh, around seventy characters on a line. So it's a Python standard to type in around seventy characters on a line, and I want to follow that. And so, since I'm exceeding this line, I know I'm exceeding 79 characters on the line, so I'm going to break this line into two. So I'm going to break it somewhere around here. And before you break any line in Python, you, um, you have to type in a backslash and hit enter. So I've broken this line into two. I'm not exceeding eight, uh, 79 characters on the line anymore. Uh, it, this is just a visual thing. It doesn't affect the functionality of this line. This line is still one line. It's just broken down to two visually. It still works. Nothing, nothing is broken. Okay, so we will have user date month value, we have user date day value, and we have user date year value. So with these values, let's see what we have to do. And now we can let's let's start by just creating a print function, a print function that is going to display, you know, this date to us. Let's let's try to get it to this format. We'll work on the the world later, but let's display the month first, the day next with a comma, and then the year. So let's print out a message saying. You know what, let's display the original message as well, the, the original user, user date as well. So let's say you typed, let's say you typed, all as one argument, you typed, let's concatenate it to the string. You typed user date, that's what we, that's, that's one argument, all right? This is one whole argument. Um, you type user date, so I'm going to now type in a comma and then provide the next argument. I'm going to say, your date, well, let's just say date, let's just say your date, your date was, let's just say, the, <laughs> sorry, the format of your date was changed to, I'm going to concatenate it 
to the new date format, right? As a matter of fact, we can even put it in a string b before passing in here. So just hold on here. Let's since we have the values, let's form the string here. So let's create a uh, well. Let's let's form the string first. The f then the string is going to be March, right? We don't have the word yet, but then let's get the mo the month value, right? Which is user month value here. Let's form a string here. So user month value, and then let's concatenate that. Okay. Yes, let's let's concatenate. We're going to have some errors going forward, but I'll explain that. Don't worry. So, user date month user date month value. Let's concatenate that with the user date day value, right? Which is twelve. In this in this example, user date day value. Let's concatenate it to that value, and then let's concatenate it to a string, which is a comma, a space, and then let's concatenate that to the user date year value, right? Because it's a comma and a, and a space and then a year. So let's concatenate it to user date year value. Now this string here is going to be our new date format. So I'm going to create a variable to store that. So new date format is going to be equal to that value. We are exceeding this line here, so I want to break this line into two. Before I break it, I'm, I'm going to break it somewhere around here. Before I break it, I'm going to type in a backslash, hit enter. Okay? All right, so we have that. We are exceeding this as well. Actually, um, eventually we will exceed it. But um, what we wanted to type was, you typed in, this is the old date. There's one entire argument. The next argument is going to be, the format of your date was changed to, now let's ch change, let's display the new date format here. So we're exceeding this line, right? So I'm going to break it somewhere around here. Before I break it, I'm going to type in a backslash and enter. Okay. So, like I mentioned, we're going to have some errors, but I'll explain. Okay. So, let's let's try to run this program. Okay. When we run it right now, nothing is going to happen. When I save the selected files, I'm going to save it where we normally save our programs. So, desktop, um, Python, right here. Chapter 8, this is going to be date printer. So, I'm going to create a new folder, date printer. And then I'm going to save this as date printer.py. So, date printer.py. So, when we run this program, nothing happens. Why? Because we've only created functions, we've only defined functions, but we haven't called any function, right? So, even though we are calling functions in the main function, the main function is a function itself, and we need to call it in order to run this code. So let's call the main function. I'm going to run this program. It says, please enter a date in the form month, day, year. Okay, I know we're going to have some errors, but don't worry. We'll fix it. So I'm going to type in month, December, forward slash. Don't forget to type in the forward slash. It has to be in this format. 25th, forward slash, and then a year, 2018 hit enter and we have an error it says the user date values list is not defined hmm oh yeah that's true I'm sure some of you caught this I, I didn't define it so um, let's see here user date values okay so this okay actually I did I did define it <laughs> I just use a wrong name over here I I named the list as user date values in a list with an a here and over here I use it. I use the right name. User date values in a list. Over here, I use the right name. But over here, I said user date values list. It's supposed to be user date values in a list. I'm going to. Co I copied this. I'm going to paste it. Fix it. All right. We're going to have another error. I'm sure. So let's run it. Okay. So December twenty fifth, two thousand and eighteen. Actually, no. We didn't have an error. <laughs> um, I thought one of these values are going to be like an int somewhere. So we may need to conversion anyway. Uh, we didn't have an error, but let's say it says it said you typed this, which is correct. This is the this is what I typed, right? So that's correct. And it says the format of your date was changed to twelve, okay, twelve twenty five, right? That's the month. So let's just you know space this space this out a little bit. So let's see. Um, so twelve. So it, con it, it over here it concatenated it directly, right? It concat concatenated it directly, so. I'm once we have the month well before that we have two over here so let's see change to this value so let's change two 
we concatenate, I'm going to put a space here. So we display 12, we need a space, so concatenated with a space, All right, a space, and then concatenate with the, uh, the day, comma, and then the year. So let's try again. So December 25th, 2018. So it says you type this the format of your date was changed to 12 25 2018 we'll fix the, the, the name of the month very soon 